Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to my new series where I'm gonna talk about every league mechanic in PoE. So the way I'm gonna do it is each video is gonna focus on one league mechanic and I'm gonna talk about the ways you can encounter that league, uh, how the encounter looks like, then what kind of rewards you can get from that league and what you, you can do with them. And at the end, I also want to talk about the different ways you can make currency using that league mechanic. So today I want to talk about Essence. And Essence is actually one of the few league mechanics that you can encounter straight up from the beginning of the game. So even in Act 1, you can find Essences. And in every zone, you have 8% chance to encounter Essence. The other ways to encounter this league is through map device. So not always, but sometimes there is an Essence uh, mod. So for two Chaos, you can force two Essences in a map. But it's not present every league, and every league this list changes. Mm. The other way is through sextant. So this sextant adds two essences to a map and you can get this sextant only by using prime sextant. I actually don't have it, but you can't get it from simple sextants and you can't get it from awakened sextants. So only from prime. And the last way you can encounter essence is through Atlas passives, and it is through controlled corruption. Area always contain one additional essence, and you also can have up to 40% chance to find additional essence. And all of these different methods stacks, so you can technically find like five essences in a map. Okay, so let me show you how the encounter with the essence look like. So here is the essence, uh, at the top you can see what kind of essences you will get after killing this mob that I'm gonna talk about uh, later and the way it works you have to click on this monster a few times and after a few times it's gonna be released you're gonna have to find one rare monsters and uh, one rare monster and a few normal ones and these monsters will also have some kind of modifiers depending on what kind of essences uh, will drop from it. So you can look at the wiki page, which I'm gonna link in the description, and here is a full list of what kind of modifiers monsters we will have depending on the essence. So let me just show you how it looks like. You click a few times, it's released. You kill it and you get the essences. Sometimes you will also get the remnant of corruption and also you can get I think up to five essences from uh, one encounter. So from this one I will get two essences and remnant of corruption. Let's go back to the hideout and let's look at the rewards. So here is the essence and the two most important part about the essence is its tier and its type. So it's the best presented in a essence tab. So here is the lowest tier and each of these are one tier higher. So some of them appear as the whispering, which is the lowest tier. Some of them can't be whispering. Then it is muttering, then it is whipping, wailing, screaming, shrieking and defending. And there are few special essences which do not have tier. Then there is essence type, which is the name of the essence, so essence of greed, contempt, hatred, and so on. 
So the way essence work is you use it on the item and it acts as an alchemy orb so it makes an item rare but what it also does is it guarantees one mod and the mod depends on the type of the essence so essence of greed used on this helmet will uh, guarantee at least 90 to 99 life and if you would go for a lower tier so this is shrieking if you would go for screaming it would be only 80 to 89 so each uh, tier increases the amount of life you can get from it and any every other mob will be random so essence of contempt for example would be other armor because it doesn't specify the helmet so it would be reflect physical damage to melee attackers so let's use it and as you can see it has 90 to life and some additional uh, other random mods. Also, you can't use a lower tier essence to reroll it because it acts as an alchemy, but you can actually use screaming, shrieking, and defending essences, and they will act as chaos orb. So you can actually reroll item, you don't have to scour it if you want to go for a screaming tier or higher okay now what do remnants of corruption do so you can use them on the essences in map so like here you can use it and there is four possible outcomes first one is it's going to release the monsters which is basically nothing but if you have this passive it disables this option so you have a better chance of other options the second option is it will upgrade the tier of these essences so screaming would go to uh, I believe shrieking wailing would go to screaming the other option is it will add additional essence so instead of two it would be three essences and the last outcome is it will change the essences into the essences of the next type so on the wiki you can check these groups so if you use remnants of corruption on the essence of hatred it will change into the essence of this group randomly if you use it on for example torment it will change to this group and so on and this is the best outcome and this is the only way to get corrupted essences so to get any of these four corrupted essences you have to use remnant of corruption on any of the essences of group e so scorn envy misery dread the only important thing you have to remember is that it's any of the purple essences this is the best use of the remnants and generally it is not worth using remnants on any other essences than purple so like this one but just to show you how it works we'll use it here and i believe there was no effect So it is corrupted now, so I can't use it second time. I can just release them and kill them. The last important thing about essences is that you can upgrade them. So if you have essence tab, you can click here and three of the essences will go into the essences of, essences of the next tier. So like here, I would click on Shrieking Essence of Zeal and I will get one Deafening Essence of Zeal. If you do not have this tab, what you can do is you can take three essences and just trade them to vendor for one essence. So this is basically for convenient. And it is pretty much always worth to upgrade 
essences. Sometimes you might lose a little bit of value, but generally it is worth it and you will also sell them much uh, faster. So now let's talk about some uses of essences. So the lower tier essences you will mostly get during the campaign and it is actually worth using them during leveling. The amount of essences, let's say whispering, you need to upgrade to get to um, high tier essences is pretty high, so it's generally not worth doing. So what I like to do, and most of the people uh, that play this game a lot do, is you get falling very early on uh, during the leveling, let's say you get an item like this, which is white and you really need a falling, but you want to have some kind of uh, modifiers on it, you will find essence like this and just use it and like here i got some life some cold rest so it's general generally a good idea to use low tier essence during leveling on four links to make them uh, yellow mm. later on when you reach maps and you don't have that much currency and you want some life and resist on your items it is a good idea to use shrieking and screaming uh, essences just to get some starting gear. For example, hatred you would get to get cold resistance, mm, greed to get some life, and so on. And later on, if you want really powerful items, you would use deafening essences to get very high amount of certain stats but one important thing to note is that not uh, all of the essence tiers are equal to tier 1 uh, modifiers on the items so for example life on the helmet here is tier 1 is maximum 99 life and when you look at the essence maximum life it is 106 so actually tier 1 essence of greed gives you more life than it is possible uh, from normal helmet but if you look at energy shield you can get maximum of 58 from essence and from just normally on the item you can get 61 so some of the mods you can get higher amounts on the essences and some you can get lower so you need to look out for that the best use on, of the essences is using the corrupted essences because um, they give very specific mods that you can't get any other way. And one of the best uses of the essences is Essence of Horror. And on the helmet you can get socketed gems till 30% more elemental damage, which is very powerful modifier it basically turns your helmet into a pseudo five link on gloves you can get critical chance and there are some other powerful modifiers essence of insanity for example gives on uh, gloves socketed gems have 16 percent more attack and cast speed which is also really good so these essences are generally worth like 20 to 50 chaos depending on the league so it's really good idea to use remnants of corruption on purple essences to have a chance of upgrading them into corrupted essences so how can you make 
money. What are the other? What are the ways to um, use essences to generate some currency? Well, first is you can actually just go on the trade website and just flip essences. So a lot of crafters do not want to buy just single essences, and they are kind of rare. So what you can do is you can go to trade, check chaos, and for example, essence of hatred, one, and they will go for like two free chaos. So you can just buy all of them for uh, free chaos pair. But then if you type, for example, at least 15, they will go for five chaos. So you're almost doubling your money. You can just buy a lot of them and then sell them in bulk. So flipping is uh, first way. Second way is just crafting items, but that's basically a gamble. Just buy a ton of uh, deafening essence or shrieking or screaming. And it is generally a good idea at the beginning of a leak because a lot of people need resistance gear and life. So you just use uh, random essences that give resistances and life to craft decent items and sell them. Mm. But the most common way to make currency is to farm haywork because there is two mods that give guaranteed one essence and remnant of corruption cannot uh, release monsters and amplified which increase the tier of essences by one so both of them are really powerful and if there is present you can use essence mod on the map device and what you can do is you can also roll the prime sextant to get this sextant for even more essences and for chance to get remnants of corruption which is pretty expensive Remnants of corruption are worth usually around 5 chaos per one. So, this is the most common way to generate currency through essences. So, I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna do more videos, like I mentioned. Next one, I think, is going to be Legion. So, check out for that. See you.